everybody, welcome back. I'm Wayne and this is Mofro's Reef. Um, today we are going to be uh, drilling some holes for the 205. This will be episode 6. Um, if you're enjoying watching my uh, my build videos here, it would be awesome if you could subscribe, or like, or maybe just leave a comment. Give me some feedback on uh, you know on what I'm doing. You know, I mean, this has uh, been in the hobby for three years and it's, you know, I don't know everything. I don't claim to. I don't even want to. I'm just doing it. I'm doing it my way. Might not be the right way, but uh, I'm just here to share, share my experiences, the good and the bad. Um, so, let's drill some holes. Alright, the equipment I'm using to uh, drill my holes, let me just go over it real quick with you. I got a little handheld drill press. Very important that if you get this model here, you take these springs off so you can feel the actual you know the tension on the drill when you're when you're drilling the holes when you got you know back pressure on this you don't know how hard you're actually pushing into the glass which you really don't want to push very hard at all um, you're going to need a drill um, I recommend if you're going to use a cordless drill like I am make sure you have another battery because you're going to blow through them you're going to need some plumber's putty um, a couple of diamond saw drill bits I'm going to use um, this Craig clamp that I got for my pocket screws and I'm gonna put this is going to sit on the bottom of the tank just you know piece of foam being a little overprotective but that's what you need an overflow box you know a tape measure and then you're going to uh, have to mark everything on your tank you only get one shot at this so make sure you get your holes where you want them so I kinda of took a sharpie and I outlined where I'm gonna sit my my overflow box and where I'm going to have my big uh, drain holes, my drain bulkheads, and then my returns. I drilled these last night. I tried recording it, but it took me like 20 minutes per hole, and uh, my camera dipped out on me. It was shutting off, so I didn't get the get the breakthrough on either one of these, which kind of sucks. I'll definitely try to get the, the breakthrough on, on these here. And uh, another thing you're probably going to want is... If you can, if you can see through the glass here, you can get a flashlight, and then you can look in there to see exactly how deep you're going. You know, I mean, because when you start getting to the bottom of the glass, you definitely want to, you know, pull the pressure off and just let the drill bit do the work. You know, you don't want to be uh, shattering the edge, shattering the edge around the bottom of the glass on the inside or on the outside. All right, well, let me get this set up, and uh, we'll start drilling holes. Okay, before we get started, I just want to show you how I got this set up. I got my clamp on here. Got it braced with a little piece of foam, so I'm not clamping directly onto the, the glass. I took my plumber's putty and built me a little moat right around the whole jig. Um, for these small holes here, I put the plumber's putty right around because the, dr the drill bit was a lot smaller, so I just put the plumber's putty on the inside of this. And you got to have a bucket, something to catch something. Make sure you got some paper towels laying around because uh, you are dealing with water. And uh, wear some eye protection. For sure, don't want glass in your eye. Alright, let's get this set up and start, uh, start chewing through some glass. On the uh, this uh, diamond bit, there's little grooves right across from each other. So when you're setting the the bit into the onto the surface this way, you can pretty much eyeball it. But you can't eyeball it because you got these shafts here. So what I did was I lined up the two little notches on each side of the uh, diamond drill bit right on my crosshairs, so I know I'm I'm, I'm pretty well set in that direction. And then uh, when you first start out, you want to start out really slow. And then once you get going, you can put a little bit of pressure, not a lot, and then uh, I'll show you uh, um, inside the, the glass from an end view of what it looks like when I get going. Actually, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go grab some ear protection because that is loud as hell. 
and I'm half deaf as it is already. Be right back. Okay, now we're getting uh, getting pretty far through there. Hope that comes in very well, but I am probably got about an eighth inch more to go. See, there's the bottom of the tank, right about there. So I'm gonna put this back on the tripod, and hopefully my camera doesn't stop. It still might take me another five minutes, so if it does, I'll just speed this portion up. I'm probably within a sixteenth of an inch now. What I'm looking for now is uh, the first sign of drips coming through. And when the first sign of drips come through, then it's just, I mean, I will barely, all I'll be doing is holding the trigger and letting it do all the work. Alright, we're starting to drip now, you can see. So now it's real slow. And we're through. that off. Pull this out. Hey, we're still recording with that right in front. Sweet, I botched it again. I can't believe I put that right in front of the camera. What a knucklehead. All right. Get this plumber's putty off here. Ready. That uh, hole saw cut that glass so tight it actually stuck in the hole saw. So I'll just pop that out in a second. But let me give you a nice close-up look at what we got here. Nice, super clean hole. Sweet. One more, man, and I'm off the hook. Earmuffs off. Clean this mess up. I'm just going to take all this because that is all glass. And I'm just going to push it right down the hole. Get all the little glass shards off there. This one still looks good, but this one had a little tiny bit of blowout. Not much. And there's the last hole. If you look straight down, you can see a little bit, I mean it's still, it's still a damn good looking hole, but there's just a tiny bit of blowout on there. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Alright man, the tank is drilled. That probably took 20 minutes a hole. So 20, 40, 60, 80 minutes. 
that's cool. So if you're ever nervous about drilling holes, man, you can see exactly it's it's really not that tough. It's like anything in the reefing hobby. Um, if you go fast, it's going to be bad. You know, everything in reefing is, you know, it takes its time. You know, the slower it takes, the better it looks. So that pretty much applies for uh, drilling holes, too. All right, next thing I'm going to do is get this thing cleaned up, and we're going to paint the back. All right, catch you on the next one. Peace.